now i am discussing poisson kant reaction poisson kant reaction is the transition metal catalyzed formal 2 plus 2 plus 1 cyclo addition of alkynes alkenes and carbon monoxide to form substituted cyclopentenone derivatives the carbon monoxide moiety is obtained from the catalyst itself that is cobalt octacarbonyl species this cobalt octacarbonyl species is an 18 electron species that uh, for neutral cobalt atom there we get 9 electrons and for each carbon monoxide ligand there is 3 into 2 6 and for cobalt cobalt bond 1 16 and for each bridged carbonyl there is also 1 plus 1 2 thus the cobalt octacarbonyl species is an 18 electron species and it is uh, elect electronically neutral for uh, so this catalyst cannot spontaneously undergo addition or insertion reaction so it uh, loses the bridging carbonyl and it gets hexacarbonyl cobalt this cobalt hexacarbonyl species is a 16 electron species it adds to the alkyne coming to mechanism in the first step cobalt hexacarbonyl here Uh, we use octa cobalt octa carbonyl catalyst it loses two of its bridging carbonyl moiety to get hexa carbonyl cobalt and this cobalt hexa carbonyl adds to alkene generating this cyclized product here both the cobalt atoms are 18 electron species alkyne carbon atom adds to first bond adds to both first bond adds to both the uh, cobalt atom and second bond adds to both the cobalt atom thus this species is an 18 electron species in order to undergo insertion of alkene another carbon monoxide moiety is eliminated then insertion of that alkene occurs here <coughs> beta migration occurs during the insertion and thus the alkene is inserted in between the cobalt carbon bond then one more molecule of carbon monoxide is added to that cobalt atom and it becomes an 18 electron species then insertion reaction occurs insertion of this cobalt carbon bond to carbonyl species occurs and thus we get this intermediate this intermediate after this alpha migration this intermediate undergoes reductive elimination that is the uh, here this cobalt atom is attached to can carbonyl species one alkene group and one cobalt cobalt bond so this cobalt cobalt bond breaks uh, during the reductive elimination and it migrates to the carbonyl group so this bond migrates to carbonyl and we get this intermediate this intermediate and uh, this cobalt carbonyl bond breaks and we get an intermediate like this then the final after the final reductive elimination step we get the cyclopentenone step throughout the reaction we use the uh, uh, stability of the catalyst that is the 18 electron species Uh, if the catalyst is an 18 electron species it has to lose one or more carbon monoxide moiety after the 
uh, first step, one of the cobalt atom uh, is involved in the reaction. The other cobalt atom remains an 18 electron species throughout the reaction. And uh, uh, that particular uh, cobalt atom where the reaction occurs, it uh, loses one carbon monoxide and then insertion of alkene occurs, then addition of carbon monoxide occurs. In that step, uh, there is an alpha migration of the cobalt carbon bond to carbonyl. Then reductive, then another molecule of carbon monoxide is added and reductive elimination occurs. Then after the final reductive elimination step, we get the cyclopentenol derivative. Thus, Kosenkund reaction is the octacarbonyl cobalt mediated 2 plus 2 plus 1 cycloaddition of alkyne, alkene, and carbon monoxide to generate cyclopentenol derivative. Thank you.